iPad Air 2019 might be going to let you enjoy the flavor of old wine in a new bottle if you have used iPad Pro 2017 already. The hardware remained almost same or in some cases iPad Air 2019 came with less features compared to the iPad Pro 2017. But much talking about the similarities and dissimilarities of both devices as the iPad Air is certainly shadowing the iPad Pro 2017 but it brought some new stuff as well. Let's spend some time talking about it. We often need to perform some light tasks like browsing, checking emails, and so on when we are on the go. But for that, turning into computer is not always efficient and phones are not always enough. There has always been a tiny gap of desire for fulfilling such needs. Yes, market has Surface Go to offer, but it comes with Intel's 4415Y processor, which is not that powerful for a tablet or the tablet itself is compact enough to offer convenience. Plus, it is not that cheap as it is advertised. In order to serve this specific purpose, Androids have a long way to go. Samsung tried with Galaxy Tab S3 and Tab S4, both came with pen and keypad features, but they were too bulky. Plus, processing power is not that strong. Y tried with media pads which are good Android tablet, and they're just a tablet, nothing more than that. Tablets from Lenovo and Amazon had their own lackings as well, while Chromebooks are not even close to shrink this gap. Considering all these, iPad Air 2019 just pops in right between the gap and gives us exactly what we're looking for. Why, you ask? Well, mostly due to the new upgrade to its OS. The iPad was running on iOS for so long, so they were just bigger iPhones and not exactly an alternative to your laptop. But this year it changes, as Apple announced new iPad OS for their iPads, and that is a game changer. Nobody gets to call your iPad large iPhones anymore because iPad OS 13 powers the device to be worked as both the phone and computer. The new OS makes a huge upgrade in multitasking for this device. Now it comes with split view to see two app windows at a time, gives a sense of using your laptop, not a large iPhone. With the new iPad OS 13 upgrade, you will be able to plug in a USB drive or SD card and now it becomes much easier to manage data between internal and external drives. Most importantly, since it is meant to serve the purpose of both a computer and a phone, the performance needed to be boosted up. Traditional iPad Air's performance was good but not good enough to be used like a computer. Well, Apple claims this new tablet specific iPad OS 13 is much quicker than iOS 12, so that's something to cheer for. New iPad OS 13 will let you access desktop sites while browsing since it has completely came out of the mobile ecosystem. Another mentionable changes this new OS is going to give are improved gestures and markups. Yes, the gestures are vastly improved, say for example just a three finger pinch to cut, three finger swipe to undo and so on. With the upgradation of markup, now you will be able to mark up the whole web pages, emails, and documents. In order to disappear iPad's blame to be called as phones, new iPad OS has brought mouse support. Now you can also connect a mouse to it, plus the iPad Air gets the connector for keyboard folio cover from the iPad Pro series and has added support for the Apple Pencil. Apart from that, it comes with a 10.5 inch fully laminated display, offers better colors and contrast ratio. Besides, the A12 Bionic processor is powering up this device which also happens to power up iPhone XS and iPhone XS Max. So iPad Air had everything to be used as a basic computer, only the culprit iOS 12 was holding it back which is now long gone. In a nutshell, iPad Air 2019 can be tagged as a mid-range tablet and an alternative for a laptop, but one of the best technologies delivered by Apple. Pairing with keyboard accessories turns it into a basic laptop, leave the keyboard, it remains a tablet. The powerful OS inside will support the both. It's lightweight, smooth, fast and runs a wide range of apps, surely going to find its fans. So that's it for today with our iPad Air 2019 review. If you like the video, 
Don't forget to like, share and comment below. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.